everybody. Welcome to Breakery Make. I'm your host, Joan. Today we have Victoria. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, Victoria. So I'm Victoria. You can find me on Instagram at Viva Victoria Vintage. And I've been a huge vintage collector for years. And I've worked with various vintage clothing companies as well as doing vintage styling. So I'm here to share my knowledge with you about how to find out if something is vintage. Yay! So let's get started. Victoria, tell us about the shape of different vintage garments. Okay, so usually when people think vintage, they think of something earlier, like 1950s, 1940s, like this 1950s dress. It has like that nipped waist, a full skirt, very like high at the neckline. But a lot of people don't think like 80s is also vintage too. So here's an 80s dress and it has those big shoulders, which is very apparent in 80s clothing and kind of more of a narrower uh, style of skirt. But with this shape, it's also very reminiscent of 1940s style. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, 1940s definitely had a big revival during mm -hmm. the 80s. Even though this print is very clearly 80s, the style is very, very the cut. Yeah, it's, it's very, very reminiscent of the 40s. You have like a peplum here, this like wrap skirt, of course the very big shoulders, but that all kind of is proportionate to trends during both time periods. Big on top, narrow on bottom. Tell us, oh Victoria, what what period is this one dress from? So this is a 1940s dress. It's a little more of like mid to late 1940s, considering the hemline and the fullness of the skirt. So the length of the skirt mm -hmm. is what makes it more 1940s. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. But also during the 1940s, during the war, the uh, World War II played a huge influence on the effect of fashion. So everything up until I would say 1940 to 1945, the hemlines were either at the knee or above the knee. Okay. Once the war was over and it affected fabric rationing and mm -hmm. we can be a little more excessive, hemlines dropped. Okay, great. So, so this then, because it's so long, mm -hmm. is a late 40s. It's a more of a late oh. to mid 40s style. And another indication of how you can tell a garment is vintage is by its closures or finishes. Okay, so this like zippers, buttons, and snaps. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So this one, it's zipper is on the, the left side. Left side. So a little history about the left side zipper. It's not until about late 1930s that dresses and female garments started putting in zippers. Mm -hmm. So typically zippers were not placed in the back like a lot of modern dresses are today. They're placed on the left side. And so left side zippers were popular up until I would say late 1950s, early 1960s. They kind of stopped doing the left side zipper and putting zippers in the back. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this one definitely like is a yeah. metal zipper. You can, metal zippers are a really good indication that this is an, an older garment. Yeah. Um, sometimes occasionally, like when I'm shopping, it, like in a thrift store or flea market, I'll find a 70s dress with a metal zipper. Not as old as a 40s dress, but zippers are a really good indication in telling how old is this. Okay, mm -hmm. great. What's another good way, if we're just going through a rack real quick, to tell if a, a garment is vintage? Look at the clothing label. Ooh, okay. So this label has a really nice cloth label mm -hmm. that's been stitched. Mm -hmm. So what's what's so special about this specific label? I mean, we can already tell by the print and the silhouette that it's an 80s dress. This has a stitched in label with the name of the, the brand or the designer. And it's slightly newer, but the way you really can tell if it's newer, similar to our modern clothing, it has a tag with the size uh. and the care instructions for how to clean and take care of your garment. Okay. When did that, when did care instructions become popular? Seeing labels like this with sizing and care instructions really didn't come out until the 1970s. Okay, so we know mm -hmm. at least the baseline. If it has some sort of care instructions, it's, it's typically around the, the 70s. 70s. Late 60s, or like 1970s, that's when you start seeing care labels. Okay. Versus, if you look at this skirt, so this label is from the 1950s. It's very detailed. A lot of older labels, I would say pre-1960s, are typically made of cloth and are very detailed, either with like the brand name and usually the designer who designed it as well. So here we have Polly Hornberg. 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 <laughs> Polly Hornberg. And sometimes, depending if it's a department store like Saks or Bullock's, it would have it stitched in the label too. But with older labels, 
there's no sizing and no care instruction. There's a lack of care instructions. That means mm -hmm. everything is like from the 70s and below. Yeah, okay, typically okay. like 1960s and 70s, that's when you start seeing like, don't throw this in the dryer. Right, or, right, you know, right, right, right. Okay. Don't okay. mix in with other colors. So vintage prints totally vary between decades. Of course, a 1970s crazy print is going to vary so much from a 1950s print. But it's a good indicator to guess like, hey, I think this may be older or I think it might be from a certain decade. Okay. This is a 1940s print. It's a small little petite floral. With a lot of 40s prints and earlier, they tend to be very tiny and very repetitive. Okay. Getting later into 1950s, it's very similar, but then we really start seeing diversity in prints. Okay. So here we have an ethnic print skirt that is a batik. Whoa. But even a batik compared to today, you can tell this is a much older design and style. Mm -hmm. Also with color. Color is a really good indicator of um, deciphering what decade it's from because it, each decade has trends and colors. Right. And what's really great, which is one of my favorites, is novelty prints. Yes. So kitchen novelty prints were huge in the 50s, like this 1950s <laughs> skirt. Here we have like this little Rip Van Winkle guy lounging in <laughs> some <laughs> abstract grass, <laughs> which is totally 50s. Yeah. And of course it continues on until 60s and 70s. But definitely the heyday of novelty and kitsch prints were 1950s. Oh. All right, Victoria, thank you so much for helping us out today. I feel like my brain's exploding. It's, it's a wealth of information. <laughs> we, we can go on for days, days about this, days. but we gave just the basics. So thank you very much for watching, you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share. And we'll see you next time.